Islam. So just for my benefit, I'm Robert, and you have come along with me and Nina. Um, so the 4 by 4 um, pool that was released yesterday, or Conicum yesterday, does it include Russia and Clark? Guys, can we just hold that? We're going to, we're going to <coughs> release the team. Please don't preempt. Just let us deal with the matter in front of um, us. After the team is named, then you can ask those questions. Question. Um, no, I'm simply saying that the team will be released. Yes, but I'm, I'm, but I'm not denying you the opportunity to ask that question. I'm saying after the team is released, then you will know exactly if the question is relevant. Question, the Taekwondo Tracy issue, what amount of tension or disunity, if any, has it created in the Jamaican camp? Well, um, it's difficult to say because I've not seen any, any reaction from the athletes. What I, what I can tell you is that uh, maybe two days ago, I was confronted basically by Taekwondo Tracy um, after having a conversation or doing a conversation with the media uh, personnel. I felt that there was some form of intimidation. I felt that his presence did not invoke harmony in the warm-up area. And so I made a call to, the, to, to one of the managers to ask him to have a conversation with him, to leave the space, because I felt that at that time the athletes were warming up and the sort of negative energy was not, was not needed. And if he did not leave the space, then he should revoke his accreditation and ask him to go back to the hotel. All right, just a follow up. Oh, so One second, Paul. Just a follow up. I did an interview with Spencer, and the question was asked whether or not we would facilitate a sit down with the athlete. And we did that yesterday. So we had that meeting with him, and there was no attempt to remove or to disfranchise him staying in the camp. He's still in the camp, as far as we're concerned. All the privileges are available to him. That is not a statement that I, I need to release any time. I am now saying, based on the question asked, whether or not there is any disruption. And I am saying no, because we, we met with him, and we had frank discussion on both sides. And we are pleased and we are happy that he will remain until his time is ready to depart with the rest of the team. Does he still believe that he has been disenfranchised? That is something that you would have to ask Tracy. I can't, I can't psychoanalyze, but I'm saying he's firm in his mind what he holds, and we're saying we can only deal with the truth. And the truth is selection of relays are at the discretion of the head coach of that relay team. The first three pass the post and any other. Also, coach can, can tell you that we have had in the past where we went outside of that eight or six to add field event personnel to the, to the relay pool. We have done it with hurdlers, we have done it with long jumpers. So it's not a unique situation. And just to make it absolutely clear, no one have any given right to run on a relay team. Even those who are in the top three that pass the post. It doesn't guarantee you a place in that final four. Again, it is to the discretion of the coach in charge of that relay team based on form. And on what basis would the top three or top two not be guaranteed? It would be very difficult. It would be, to, yes, but if you lose form. But if you lose form or you're injured, yes. that's the only. That's, those are the, the mitigating reasons. Um, um, is there a conflict of interest, Mr. Wilson, being the head of the GC Foster Sprint Tech camp? and being uh, the technical head of a national team? It depends how you perceive it, you know, because please be reminded that I would have been one of the coaches on what, three, three or four um, world record runs going all the way back from 2008. I've never had this issue, and if issues come up, they would have been dealt with. Uh, that is why, and I would not, I would just say that the, the system that we have, no ultimate decision is made by anyone. And that is why I, I have two eminent coaches 
to ratify the decision of a relay when it comes to me. I would not be surprised that athletes that I have here are disenfranchised during the course of this meet, in my mind, in my opinion. And there's nothing I, I will do about it because if it is that after the coach makes his recommendation, which I saw a recommendation and I felt it could have gone a different way, the two other coaches decide that this is not what we want or this is not what we think is in the best interest of the team, then that is what would happen. Is there a... Is there um, a system in the camp where you can get the people that are not in the top three raised off against each other? Is, is there a system? Is that um, time is trial? That done a trial? Is it done? All right. So it is Jamaican coaches. After they prepare their athletes, they do not like to have time trials. We did it in the past, in the early days. Right, we would have athletes, especially 400 meter athletes, they fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh place. I remember one year, Davian Clark was not on the team, could have been 2004 in Athens, and we had about three time trials under the great Dennis Johnson. And Davian Clark, who was not on the team, came back and ran the fastest split, and I think we got a bronze medal um, in 2004 in Athens. So, it is something that is not practiced. Because you wouldn't want to really race, for example, 100 meter runners. 400, not bad. And so that is why the coaches who are in charge, they observe, they look, and they make decisions a lot of time based off data, similarly to the data that I would have given you, based on a Golson versus a Tracy, and maybe why the coach would have made that decision. And as I stated earlier, the coach who was in charge, the coach who is in charge, sorry, is not someone that you can intimidate. Is someone who is experienced, knows his facts, and is a very um, knowledgeable coach. One second, yes. The rule as to how the athletes are selected for the relays, is it written down somewhere for the J3A, and what does the text say exactly? All right, so there's a selection criteria, and it explicitly explained how that is managed. So at your national trials, Top three are automatic in entering the pool, and then anyone from four to eight can be included in that pool. And once you're in the camp, any other member of your contingent can also be included in the pool. This, what happened to <coughs> Latoya Gould being included, and in previous years where we had hurdlers and jumpers um, entering the pool. But the, 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 there is no ambiguity in the in the rules. Uh, you, you, you mentioned earlier, Sir that um, there was a sit down with Taekwondo Tracy coming out of what took place earlier. Does that mean that that matter is over? Is there going to be a disciplinary hearing or anything of that sort, or the matter is closed? We, we are satisfied that there was overreach on his part and when the reports are written that will be fed to the, the, the JHRAs who will have that decision to make. The management team here is not so privileged to make that decision. But when the report is, is, is given, I suspect that that will be a part of the report. As it stands now, is Mr. Tracy in the really no, he's, he's not. not. He has not. Well, based on my... I went to training yesterday and I did not see him there. And the team that was submitted to me, and I'm going to ratify, he's not in the pool. Okay. What, what happens moving forward? Because we have Olympics next year, or that means coming up later on. What, what, what is the relationship going to be for our former national 100 meters? Winner and the technical director. Edit. Yes, the leader. Paul. You mean you mean this leader? Yeah, Paul. Yeah. Paul. Paul. <laughs> Let me answer that. No. <laughs> so, so, so again, no, I, I am I am protecting the technical leader. Again, recommendation will go forward to the J trees. One of those recommendations is to have a cursory look as to whether or not 
the current system has outlived its useful time and whether we should embrace the United States system where you accredit all the personal coaches and then you have coaches just to deal with the relays. One of the things I have picked up talking to some of the coaches is that they don't want any other coach to supervise their charge. And so it might be best, and this is something that I would recommend, it might be best that Coach X, having two or three athletes in the team, that Coach X is accredited as a personal coach, but don't come as a national coach. So you will sort of eradicate or eliminate the doubt that any one coach is using his or her influence to get their charge and the team or in a relay and squad. So there was um, a restriction on the amount of personal accreditation that were available for team. Yeah, but remember there's a quota system established by Royal Athletics. Okay. So the size of your team largely determines the, the size of your coaching staff and the size of your management staff. But as it relates to personal coaches, any athlete Right? Who, once you're in the team, you're entitled to a personal coach if you're doing individual event in any discipline. Yes, Wheeler? You said that the, you know, the matter for the Visa Taekwondo Tracy matter has come to some sort of resolution. Uh, there was a um, tweet by Taekwondo Tracy given in terms of details of who uh, the members of that relay pool is and that it's only going to get louder from here. Is there any is there any grounds for in terms of a recourse? Because it seems that things have not improved from after that meeting, meeting that 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 sit down yesterday. Um, how would how does in, how does in terms of you guys move forward from that? Well, it depends on what you mean by recourse. As I have said earlier, 